Grass pollen allergy is one of the most common allergies. Sufferers say it can make going outside a miserable experience. But now there's a new weapon for people who are allergic to grass pollen. Our health specialist Denise Tador tells us what it is and how it works. All right, I'm going to look in your nose now. High school sophomore Lauren Benton is allergic to grass, which is a huge problem if you're a cheerleader. I get watery eyes, my nose is stuffy, and I have bumps under my eyelids. Regular allergy shots help keep her symptoms under control, but since she has a big fear of needles, she's excited about two new FDA-approved pills for grass allergies. That's a lot better than needles, and um, I would prefer it. And these are oral dissolving tablets that contain actual grass allergen that people are sensitized to. Allergy specialist Katie Marks Hogan says one pill works for one type of grass allergen, the other for five. She says oral and sublingual immunotherapies like drops are becoming more and more popular among allergy sufferers. Just like shots, over time they trick the immune system into thinking it's not allergic anymore. The tablets are helpful for patients that maybe have a very busy schedule and travel frequently for work and can't make it to the office. Dr. Marks Kogan says the first dose should always be given in a physician's office because of potential side effects like anaphylactic shock, gastrointestinal problems, and itching of the tongue and lips. Also, patients being prescribed these tablets should always carry injectable epinephrine. Another drawback. Most people allergic to grass are allergic to other things like trees and weeds. That's why shots, which contain a combination of therapies, are more practical. Lauren needs to continue getting shots, but looks forward to the day she won't. Doctors say people with grass allergies alone are good candidates for the new pills. And depending on the types of allergies you have, it is possible to combine both allergies and the shots, giving patients more options. Denise Tador, ABC7 Eyewitness News.